Lauren Holiday, joining me right now. First of all, thank you so very much for joining us. Just um, explain and describe to me your excitement level as you're getting ready to go off to Canada and the uh, Women's World Cup. I feel like it's been such a long road that 12 days away from our opening game right now is kind of that excitement, that giddy feeling. Um, we are all so ready. You were talking to me off camera that you are a Hoosier um, from the state of Indiana and you're know, such a really good uh, basketball player in your prep career as well. What made you decide on football, soccer, instead of basketball? My passion was always soccer. From the second I touched the ball, I fell in love with the game. And I think to me, that just made everything better. That propelled me to just want to continue to follow my soccer dreams. Now, you are married to Drew Holiday of the New Orleans Pelicans, and his team made the playoffs on the final day. What was that like, rooting him on and seeing that final playoff push? It must have been nerve-wracking for you, watching those last few games, hoping that the uh, Pelicans would hold off Oklahoma City. It was nerve-wracking. I was actually in Kansas City for my NWSL season, and I was just cheering uh, by myself, actually, just loud and really, really rooting for them to make the playoffs. I felt like they had a uh, rough year adversity-wise, but that they really deserve to make that spot. You were part of a championship team with FC Kansas City last year. How do you think that season and that experience and that experience of winning a soccer championship helped you possibly uh, as you get ready for this World Cup? I think the NWSL has been huge for me personally, um, playing in that league and just being able to really excel and have the confidence to build off of and to win uh, NWSL championship is great. There's no better feeling than winning and I think that going into a World Cup, that's, that's our focus. We want to win and that's all we're striving for. Now you have set up, I believe, all three of Julie Johnston's goals. Now, does she owe you? Like, is that, I mean, does she just like owe you things? Like, does she have to buy you dinner? Does she have to buy you a watch or whatever? Like, tell me how that relationship is and why that has been the case so far. That I haven't gotten to that, but that's a good idea. She might owe me dinner now. Um, no, actually. <laughs> Sorry, Julie. <laughs> I actually think that it's all on Julie. I, as a free kick taker, I'm supposed to hit a spot, and it's the job of the runner to get to that spot. And Julie gets there every single time, and she scored three great goals. And we also talked off camera about you and Drew, about who's the better shooter of the two and I believe you have that answer but you haven't said it on camera yet before so this is the first time I believe you've said it on camera so who is the better shooter between Drew and Lauren? I think that I could take him in shooting. You think you could or have you already? I have beaten him a few times in some shooting games. And did it with the NBA regulation 29.5 size ball as well correct? Yes sir. You don't have to be afraid saying it. <laughs> I, I think overall he might be the better shooter, but I think I have his number. Uh, you're standing by your man, and I love it, but Lauren might be the better shooter. <laughs> Lauren, thank you so very much for joining us. Best of luck and success to you and the rest of the 22 players up in Canada. Thank you so much.